my name is Mark Carlson, I'm an account manager at Maxim Truck and Trailer. Here we're, today we're here to talk about the new HX series from International. This particular model is a 615. They come in four models, 615, 620, 515 and a 520. Let's start with the hood. The hood is a three-piece hood. It's designed of metan material. It's in three pieces and it's also designed with the bold design of the big International logo with this particular sight line, which gives a sight line for point of reference for the driver while, while he's inside the cab. It's also designed with uh, and molded with a stainless steel grill with an aluminum mesh insert. The headlights, the headlights on this truck, again, are halogen with an LED running light. This truck was also ordered and designed with the uh, outside sun visor. It's painted the same color as the cab. Again, the cab is an all aluminum cab, and that combined with the Metan hood is a good for durability, lightweight, and uh, for the take the abuse that it, this unit is uh, designed for in the industry. Okay, let's move around and get into the cab. Again, coming around the cab, we've got the two easy steps to get in with a well redesigned handle for longevity and maintenance. You're going to notice the nice leather stitched uh, coverings on the doors. Very aggressive, rugged look to this cab, which it's a bold design. Again, I said from the outside, it's a bold design. When you're coming inside this cab, it's a nice bold design as well. Okay, now once inside the cab, you're going to notice again the uh, which comes standard on this truck is power windows, power locks, and air conditioning, as well the redesigned cab. This is a nice curled in effect of the dash, so you, all your switches and your gauges are very accessible by your driver, and the nice bold design of the dash panel. You're going to notice too that the RPMs on this curl up and the speed comes up the other side, which it, it gives a, a very automotive slash rugged uh, instrument panel to look at as well as functionality for the driver is uh, very pleasing. Again the redesign of the switches, the, the switches are very rugged and tactile and you, when you know you click them in they, they click in. You'll also notice in this cab there's lots of storage, lots of storage for the driver's books, cell phones, there's different outlets for his cell phone. Again inside this cab you're going to notice the driver will have lots of leg room, it's a redesigned cab. It's best in class as far as visibility and the slope of the hood. You get that best in class visibility out the two windshields. It's a split windshield again for maintenance and uh, if you get stone chips down the road it's, uh, it's easier on the maintenance. Um, as far as leg room, room in the seat, moving it back and forth, there's lots of room in this side this cab and having that curled in dash it makes the driver feel like he's in a cockpit best in class air conditioning. They redesigned the air conditioning in system in this, in this unit and uh, again it's best in class. Uh, when we look at the HX it has a lot of new features. We have, um, when we start at the front here we're going to be with the tow pin uh, set up. Very very compact, a lot better than our old system which was a, a larger, larger package. This is a nice compact package now. We do have, this is called the tow loop. We also have provisions for tow hooks as well. Um, the tow pin here has a fully loaded rating of 150,000 pounds pull. They say it will not damage the truck or the load. So um, very robust, very safe, good for pulling equipment that is fully loaded out of ditches and locations where it needs to get pulled out of. As we look at the truck here, we do have, it's a vocational truck made for construction industry. So very, very um, well designed. We have steel bumpers, not plastic. Construction industry would want something like that. The truck also, if you look at the heights here, you'll see a high clearance on the fuel tanks, high clearance on the bumpers, all air tanks. It is designed that this does not catch when it goes off road. You can go over rocks, you know, go into gravel pits, go power lines. This truck is designed for good, excellent clearances. Um, when we look at the truck, it has the um, ex overextended fenders here. It's designed for the bigger tires, stones don't get thrown up. Front end wise, we do have the full size of tires right from 11R tires right to a 445 width tire. Uh, we do 22 inch, 24 inch tires. The front axles on these trucks will start at 13.2 
and will go, the suspension will go all the way up to 24,000 pounds. So that's great for cement mixers, gravel boxes, anything that puts weight on the front of the truck. The fuel tanks have a range from 80 gallon, 100 gallon to 150 gallon, duals on each side. Um, we can custom order, do custom orders if a customer wants, so we can talk about that. Exhaust on the truck will be at the back here, uh, upright. It's a clear, clear what we call CA. There's no gaps or there's nothing sticking out in the way to put a body onto the truck. A uh, highway tractor usually has a, a shorter rail and a thinner rail. This is commonly 12.25 to 12.5 inches in height. Um, we go as thick as a half an inch thick on it and that half an, a half an inch thick and 12 and a half inch height makes for no need for dual frame rails. When we go a little bit farther back here, we'll get to the suspension and uh, rear axles. The, the suspension on the trucks are 40,000 or 46,000 capacities. Okay, now, now we'll discuss the powertrain on the HX series. There's a, few, a couple options available for a customer. You can go with international motor, it's called uh, N13. If a customer wants to go with a, a bigger package, say uh, you can look at the Cummins ISX. They'll go from 450 horsepower all the way up to 600 horsepower and it'll also go up to 20,000 or 2,050 foot-pounds of torque. When we go to transmissions, we have two options. If you're going to go manual transmission, we go with a fuller transmission. You can go from a 10-speed all the way up to an 18-speed on manual. Then when we want to go to the automatic transmissions, we have the fuller again, but they call it the Ultra Shift. That'll go from a 10-speed to an 18-speed uh, fully automated manual transmission. There's no clutch pedal on that. Um, that transmission and then we also have the Allison and the Allison transmission is the second choice if a customer wants. You can have your pick. Both are excellent names, excellent product. The last thing on the frame rails would be, if we go as a complete package, is the trucks also what we call puck bolted. And these are, um, they're, they're pressed on, they're heat, they shrink on, they're sealed, they do not break loose or come loose and ever have to be retorqued again. The huck bolt is a is the premium way to hold the frame together and keep long life on the chassis of the truck. And that's basically it on the truck. If there's any more questions, please give us a phone call at Maxim Truck and Trailer.